Hi, I'm Kerry from Hydro Engineering. A little bit of background for you. We are the inventors of high pressure reclaiming. Until we came on the scene 40 years ago, nobody had ever put a pressure washer against a screen. Guy came into our shop and said, you gotta help me figure out how to do this without using MEK to get the ink out of it and bleach to get out the emulsion. Otherwise, I gotta use a knife and cut out the mesh. Right. So we figured out how to do it with high pressure water. The next step was, now that we were getting the ink and emulsion out with high pressure, it was coming out in a solid. So what do you do with the mess? We built the first ever booth to catch that mess, a go. washout sink. Wow. Next thing we did, now that we had all this particulate matter in the water, was we figured out how to filter it out with the simple use of a filter so it didn't go down the drain. And we patented that high pressure reclaiming method and it's, uh, it's on the books. Yeah. Well, so for all these years, we have produced high pressure washing equipment, washout booths and filtration systems. Gotcha. We've done some automatic reclaiming systems in the past. Recently, because screen print business is coming back, yep. full speed, we decided to go to the most prevalent type of screen printing, and that's garment industry. Right. Right. Well, we looked at 20, uh, 22 and 31 inch screens, or 23 31s, and then realized that a lot of people are using bigger screens these days. Yeah. So we made the machine capable of doing a 25 by 36. Gotcha. Of course, if it happens to be longer, that's no problem with sure. the machine because it goes in the long way. Right. So the same way people currently reclaim or the same chemicals they use are just fine. You pull the screen off of the press, you remove the tape, card out the excess ink. Sure. With ink and emulsion still in the screen, you apply your chemistry. If you happen to like a dip tank, then you put the screen in the dip tank, you pull out one that's been in the dip tank, and you set it on our machine. Gotcha. And simply, in 30 seconds, it goes through the machine, and it comes out clean. Wow. So, if you didn't have to dehaze any of your screens, it would do 120 an hour. Wow. That's if impressive. you had to re, uh, dehaze every single one, then you're still doing 60 screens an hour with one person. Gotcha. And this, I mean, from the end, you said, remind me how many how many inches this is total. I'm sorry? Remind me how many inches this machine is total. Okay, it's 110 inches long. Okay. And we've got a 30 inch lift height, so it's really easy to get the screen on and off. Right. And if you can put a screen on, drop another one in the tank and run over there and grab that other screen and put another one in the tank, grab it, put another one on and do that repeatedly for most shops that are doing 50 or 100 screens a day, yep. you're done in less than an hour a day. That's awesome. And yeah, from the footprint, it doesn't take up that much space. So it's, it just looks like it'd be easy to slide right into shop, no problem. And it's not gonna get in the way of uh, their current operation. It's not, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be very hard to make room for, for a machine of this size. Exactly. And another real good point is most all other reclaiming machines have a booth at the end right. to do what the machine didn't do. Right. But with this one, you don't need that. So you get rid of your washout sink and you put this in its place. Granted, it's going to be a little longer, but you're reclaiming some of that space that you would normally have had to use with that booth. Right. You, uh, you are the only guys doing this, right? We're the only ones doing it, and we've got an emulsion washout, a pre-press machine coming out oh, cool. that does the same thing, only it doesn't remove the emulsion. Gotcha. It'll be similarly priced, and it will be available soon. Gotcha. Speaking of price, what can someone expect to pay for this uh, piece of equipment? As you see it here, $37,000. That's very reasonable. Can 
considering what it can do and, and the time it can save you. Well, you're absolutely right, and here's the thing. It shows up to work every day, yep. and you can't possibly get an employee that'll work for $700 a month, right. and that's what one of these costs if you amortize it. Wow. So how long has this been on the market for you guys? We started selling this machine last May. Okay. Yeah, we've got over 30 of them out in the field already. Gotcha. And we're ramping up production to be able to produce more of them. It was two years in the design process and testing, and the customers that have it are absolutely thrilled. I can believe it. Is this the first trade show you guys have been able to display this, or have you been at other trade shows so far showing this off? Exactly. process has become more simple for every customer that gets one because you're not exposed to the chemicals. Mm -hmm. Your, your uh, time doing the reclaiming is reduced and the job is much easier because it's not splashing back in your face or you're not having to, to load a big monster of a machine right. and wait for a long period of time for it to come out. And then at the end of the day, you're cleaning out all these chemicals and replacing them. Yeah. All that's gone. What's been the reception like from people coming to this trade show and getting to see this in person? It's, it's amazing. Uh, we have an ROI calculator on our website. And when they say to themselves, okay, I'm paying, you know, it takes me 10 minutes to reclaim a screen, and I'm paying the guy $18 an hour, you start doing the math and looking at that when you can reclaim a screen in 30 seconds or even if you have to reclaim every one of them and it takes two passes through that machine because you have to dehaze every single one if you did that's only a minute of screen versus 10 or 15 minutes right. so the ROI on it is amazing from the very first day they purchased the machine they're making money by having it. Absolutely. Carrie, we really appreciate you taking the time to talk a little bit about this. If someone watches this video and is, is interested, and I'm sure there will be people, how can they uh, find you guys and, and where can they uh, reach out to learn more information? You can find us at www.hydroblaster.com or Hydro Engineering 